This women's basketball team is off to a good start in their pursuit of their seventh consecutive gold medal. They beat Nigeria in their first game last night. And sports director Frank Cusimano is here with the St. Louisan helping to keep the streak going. Frank. Well, the victory was the 50th straight Olympic win for the U.S. women's team, but a first for Nafisa Collier from our town. In tonight's practice to podium, we caught up with the basketball phenom before she headed to Tokyo. She is our town's greatest female basketball player ever, and now Nafisa Collier will try to achieve basketball's highest honor, a gold medal. It feels amazing. It's been something that I've wanted since I was a little kid watching the Olympics on TV. So to say that I have made it here is just unbelievable. It's the best feeling ever. She has a lot of fantastic feelings to choose from. At Incarnate Word, three state titles in an All-American career. In college at UConn, a national champion and a three-time All-American. And in the WNBA, the 24-year-old won the Rookie of the Year and has already been an All-Star. She attributes much of her success to her father, who made sure, despite her height, she developed guard skills. I was always so much taller, um, and he was always saying one day, hey, what if I stop growing? I have to be able to have guard skills as well. So um, he was really kind of the person that made sure that happened, and I'm really grateful for it because now everyone is um, taller than me, so it's definitely helpful. Another loved one, fiancé Alex Bazell, is also instrumental. Alex trains some of the best men's players in the world. He also works with his future bride. He's an amazing, amazing uh, development coach. The way he sees the game is so smart, um, so intelligent. So I'm really lucky to have worked with him for so long and now, you know, trapped him in a marriage. <laughs> yeah. And how about that gold medal, Nafisa? So I always thought about, like, what would I do if we won the gold medal? And I think it's just going to be an unbelievable feeling if we're lucky enough to do that. Uh, I just, I don't even know if I'd be able to describe it. Team USA will hit the court again tomorrow night to take on the host country, Japan. At six foot one, Nafisa towered over most of her high school competitors, but in the WNBA, that's not the case. The tallest 10 female basketball players in the WNBA this year range from six five to six feet nine inches. And Frank, when, when she gets back from the Olympics, isn't that when the wedding's going to happen? Yes, they're getting married in November. They were supposed to get married last November. It'll definitely happen this November. So win the gold and then get married. Not bad. Not in a bad summer. Frank.